Have you ever thought that your home, the place where you should feel safest, might actually be putting you in danger day after day without you even noticing? We carefully watch what we eat and we make sure to exercise, but what about those everyday objects that seem harmless yet actually hide a silent risk? Today, I'm going to reveal eight invisible dangers that not only disrupt your hormones, inflame your body, and increase the risk of serious diseases like heart problems, dementia, Parkinson's, even cancer, but could also be responsible for your unexplained symptoms. That fatigue that never goes away, chronic pain, insomnia, and even poor control of diseases like diabetes or hypertension. And let me tell you something, the last one on this list is without a doubt the most dangerous of all, and you probably have it in your kitchen right now. I promise you, once you find out what it is, you'll never cook the same way again. At this point, there's something you need to understand. Many of these items have something in common. They're loaded with endocrine disruptors. And what does that mean? They're chemicals capable of mimicking or blocking our own hormones. It's like they're tricking your body. The result is total chaos in your system. There's a higher risk of obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and premature death from heart attacks and tumors. The World Health Organization has already warned that continuous exposure to these compounds is one of the hidden causes behind the explosive rise in diseases and metabolic problems worldwide. And here's where the list begins. Danger number eight is plastic containers and utensils. Even if you see a label that says BPA free, that chemical that's famous for messing with your hormones, that doesn't make them harmless. Many of them release other toxic substances called bisphenols and phthalates when we heat them up. And those substances act like estrogen in your body, disrupting your metabolism and promoting the buildup of visceral fat. That fat that builds up in your abdomen, the most dangerous kind, the one that increases your risk of heart attacks and strokes. In fact, a recent study showed that people who accumulate more of these substances in their bodies have greater insulin resistance and a higher risk of metabolic diseases. That's why you shouldn't heat food or liquids in plastic. Always choose glass, ceramic, or stainless steel. And if you think the danger is only in what you eat and drink, Wait until you find out about what you touch with your hands every day. Let's look at danger number seven, antibacterial soaps. For years, they were all the rage, promising more protection. But in reality, they hide a risk that very few people know about. Triclosan, one of their most commonly used ingredients, can disrupt thyroid hormones and even alter your heart rhythm. Can you imagine something as simple as washing your hands? It could be causing arrhythmias or inflammation in your heart muscle. And it doesn't stop there. Using it frequently, instead of killing germs, actually encourages the growth of those resistant bacteria, the superbugs that make infections harder and harder to treat. That's why the FDA itself banned the use of triclosan in household soaps. Good news is, you don't need anything fancy. Regular water and soap do an excellent job for washing up. The secret is to wash your hands well for at least 20 seconds, including between your fingers and under your nails. Now think about it. If a simple soap can mess with your hormones, what about what you're breathing in every moment without even noticing? Danger number six, air fresheners. Have you seen those sprays or those little devices you plug in that make your house smell nice all day? They sound harmless, right? But be careful, actually they release phthalates, those chemicals that can go straight into your lungs and within seconds are already circulating in your blood. Picture this, every breath you take with that pleasant scent also brings in small doses of substances that trick your hormones and cause chronic inflammation. The result, a higher risk of asthma, obesity, metabolic syndrome, and other problems that seem to come out of nowhere. The solution here is much simpler. Open the windows and let fresh air circulate. Use air purifying plants or pure natural essential oils. Your body will thank you for it. And don't get too comfortable, even if you don't use air fresheners. The next danger is hidden in your own closet and can even reach your brain. Danger number five, dry clean clothes. Look, maybe you use a washing machine, but many dry cleaners still use the dry cleaning method, especially for suits, coats, delicate garments, or bedding. So what's the problem? The issue is that they use a solvent called perchloroethylene, known as PERC, which is classified as probably carcinogenic. 
that chemical doesn't just stay in the fabric. It can enter through your skin or be inhaled with the smell, affecting your liver, kidneys, and even your nervous system. In fact, repeated exposure to perk has been linked to a higher risk of Parkinson's disease. My advice is simple. If you need to take your clothes to the dry cleaner, when you pick them up, remove the plastic and let them air out in your yard before putting them in your closet. And pay attention here, because while those clothes are hanging in your closet, there's another danger that could be just inches from your pillow, right where you sleep every night. Danger number four, poorly cleaned humidifiers. That device that seems so harmless and that you use to improve the air can turn into a trap for your lungs. Want it? Because the water that sits stagnant in the tank can be the perfect breeding ground for dangerous bacteria like Legionella and fungi like Aspergillus. Every time you turn it on, those particles go straight into the air you breathe. And for people with weaker hearts, lung problems, or low immunity, this can cause serious infections or even respiratory and heart issues. Prevention's very simple. Change the water every day. Clean the device with vinegar, neutral soap, or a few drops of bleach every two to three days, and let it dry thoroughly when you're not using it. Now pay close attention. Not all the risks come from humidity. The next one comes disguised as something we associate with relaxation and warmth. Danger number three, scented paraffin candles, even though they look pretty and cozy when you light them, release dangerous chemicals like toluene, benzene, and formaldehyde, the same toxins found in cigarette smoke. These compounds cause inflammation and promote the buildup of fat in the most important arteries in your body. The coronary arteries in your heart, the carotid arteries in your neck that carry blood to your brain, and even the circulation in your legs. The advice is simple. Always choose candles made with natural wax, like beeswax or soy, and always keep the room well ventilated. Now listen to this. The candle thing is already serious, but the next item is even worse. It transfers toxins directly to your skin without you noticing, and it does so in a matter of seconds. Danger number two, thermal paper. You know those tickets or receipts they give you at the supermarket checkout? They're printed on thermal paper that contains BPA, a chemical that gets absorbed into your skin almost instantly and increases the toxic load in your body. High levels of BPA in the body have been linked to hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and abdominal obesity. All that just from handling a piece of paper. The solution? Refuse paper receipts or ask for the digital version. And if you really need to keep them, use a glove or wash your hands thoroughly afterward. Now, none of these dangers I mentioned compare to the last one on our list. Danger number one, worn out non-stick pans and pots. When they're scratched or overheated, they release substances known as PFAs or forever chemicals. Why that name? Because they can stay in our bodies for decades. These chemicals are linked to hypothyroidism, liver diseases, pancreatic cancer, and even increased cholesterol in young people. So what should you do? Don't use worn out pots or pans. Avoid high heat and choose safer alternatives like cast iron, ceramic, or stainless steel. It's not about panicking or losing control, but rather about being fully conscious and attentive, staying aware of what's happening around you. 